the plan now is to work on the podcast and try and make it support us both. So <laughs> I'm like that. <laughs> no, <I didn't. laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I guess I'll be the one doing the affirmations. Like I'll be the one you know, believing in our dreams and you can just you can just go, Oh my god, you're so naive. That's never gonna work. <laughs> but that'll push you to make it go and then and then we'll have it. And look like at that. if you laugh at a guy with a small dick, he works harder, mm-hmm. that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he, he Googles how to eat pussy at least once. Um, <laughs> welcome to another episode of Everyone's Doing Better Than Me, the podcast where we tell successful people how their achievements have ruined our lives. I'm one of your hosts, Katherine Henson, along with my co-host. Eve Ellen Bogan. Eve, who hurt you this week? It's funny that you should ask. It was actually a doctor. Um, <laughs> they yeah. wear on the doll, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know that they're supposed to be like essential worker heroes, but this guy, I'll tell you why he was a piece of shit. I have um what's known, I found out, as a furuncle, which is a small boil. This is the grossest thing I ever said. <laughs> on my left boot. Like it's like it looked like a mosquito bite with like a huge kind of circle around it. No, it's not my nipple. Um, and um, I was like, this is getting, this is, this is kind of crazy um, because I've, I've started like dating and I'm like, I want to show this tit specifically. It's the left one that I'm most proud of. I want to is, sh- is, is that your good side? That's your it's good just, boobs? <laughs> well, it's the, you know what I mean? Everyone prefers the right. I write with my right hand. I like to give my left some attention. You know what I mean? Like, I just like mm. to be like, you're good enough, baby. So I just... That's it's the, one the I... dark horse of your titties. That's the one. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. The grower, not the shower. The... <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it's both a grower and a shower. You know, um, to be mm, fair nice. to my tits. I think so. And, and so, like, I, I, when I've see, started seeing somebody, I refuse to show my tits for the first time when they're not looking, you know, when they're not like perfect, you know, like I do. Yeah, because you got that fur baby growing on it or whatever. <laughs> yeah, fur uncle. So I got <laughs> this thing. I go in. I went to City MD. It's like a walk-in urgent care. And um, I I was like, you know what? If I no one's seen my boobs in like a year, just over a year, like 53 or 54 weeks. So it's like I got excited. I went in and I was like, oh, like maybe I'll get like a cute doctor. And you know, like I don't mind. <laughs> maybe you know? I'll marry a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, said the Jewish girl. Um, and so I went in. <laughs> I'm like, didn't even have to wait. I go in and it's like a woman and I'm like, well, sure, whatever. I'm a feminist, you know, and um, uh, like she and- can be a doctor. I'll <laughs> yeah. allow it. Yeah, You're allowed to be a doctor, <laughs> honey. And also like, whatever, I'm open. You know, if it's you who touches it, well, then that's OK. You know, whatever. But then she's the nurse. She takes all my details, whatever. The doctor comes in and. Um, and here I am and like I see the door open and I'm like oh, here he comes the man who's gonna handle my breast my left mm-hmm. breast and it's like he's so old it's like a it's like a pile of dust comes in you know what I mean like he's like literally the oldest doctor I've ever had examined me ever in my mm-hmm. life um, and she said oh she's got like a you know like a lesion I'm like it's not a lesion but okay on her breast and he just goes well, we can't help you here. This isn't the right place. And I'm like, like I haven't seen a boob in years. <laughs> and I'm like, how dare you? You could, why are you rejecting my tits? First of all, not the medical Damn. thing, but first of all, it's like, as a, as a, I don't know. It just is like, it like hurt me. I mean, obviously it's like, it's just, you don't have that much time left in your life. You're an older <laughs> man. Why aren't you at least, oh, yes, we should really attend to this woman's <laughs> breasts, you know? <laughs> like it's, he's like, oh, I can't help you. Why am I not being objectified at the doctor? I'm really? writing a review. I'm writing a blog post. Yeah, I mean, I literally, I was like, in a, I was like immediately drafting my Google review to be like, this doctor's not very friendly, aka he won't look at my tits. And then I got him, I was like, well, just take a look. They're nice. No, I said, I was like, can you look and tell me if there's something serious? And so then they were, he was like, all right, get her in a gown. I'm like, here we go. And uh, <laughs> it's like there was, it wasn't that exciting. He looked and he was like, 
it's probably fine. It's probably fine. And then he was like, it's what's called a furuncle. And I'm like, stop it, doctor. Um, <laughs> and uh, it just is like a, you know, it's like a, an infected pore. He, he gave me some cream. Um, but then wow, the, so. just a little side note. Okay. The nurse, I, of course I told her, I was like, I'm seeing somebody and I'm not going to show my boobs until um, they look good. You know? And she was like, and I said, I'm going to make him wait. And she was like, that's right. I, t- I made my husband wait actually until marriage and i was like no <laughs> like that is not mm-hmm. we're we're not on the same page here i'm not waiting till marriage. i'm a whore <laughs> yeah i mean i told her i was like i'm uh... so horny i'm so wet <laughs> that doctor made me wet <laughs> um anyway thank you <laughs> well Catherine, who hurt you this week i you know i haven't quite pinpoint who exactly it was it might have been me it might have been you but it was some combination <laughs> Of, of the two um my uh you were in possession of what was an ill-fated purchase of a notebook that was meant to be a journal that was written in maybe a total of four times uh no once when i was like more. what more okay fine how, how many times would you, you said like 40 pages which i just don't believe but um, i can yeah, it's fucking 40 pages. I think it's like well, 10 or 15 entries. And the but the first entry I wrote was 100%. I must have been like 16. And then the the last entry is like right before I went to the fringe and only 40 pages in the span of like, you know, 15 years. So just give that a, a thought. But when you read me like the most recent entry, there was like a line about the children on the subway singing a dream is a wish your heart makes. And you're like reading this to me. And I just wanted to stick my thumbs into my eyes <laughs> until I couldn't see anymore. So, it hurt, so then it would hopefully render me also deaf. I was like, this has <laughs> never been written. I knew it when I was writing it. You know, and now I'm reading it. You're like coming. You're like, yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> I just never wanted to be alive less suddenly. And you, you said, and you have that journal because you have all my shit. I have it literally in my hand open <laughs> to the page and I have my other hand like fingering myself while you, because this is so, like, I can't even tell you that that, like, that 10 minutes it took me to read these two and a half pages to you because I was sobbing, sobbing from laughing so hard. I was like, we, I mean, you saw, I was like weeping with laughter. It like sustained me, you know, cause it's like the end of winter. It's so close to spring and mm-hmm. reading this, it just, it made me in such a good mood. Like I was walking down the street mm. the next day, you know, when, you know, people are like looking at you and you're like, I have a light about me. <laughs> the and spring I'm, in my step. That was this. Can I read this paragraph or did you? <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Go All right. Ahead. All know, right. Why not feel the embarrassment twice? At least I, it's good <laughs> to feel, you know? <laughs> oh my God. Here we go. There are girls on the train singing, a dream is a wish your heart makes when you're fast asleep. A dream is a something, something, whatever you wish for, you keep. Have faith in your dreams. They stopped at some point. I had to write it all, didn't I? (laughs) They stopped at some point. I used to sing that song. I'm totally going to jerk off when I get home. (laughs) I just really like just... um, (laughs) I, I, I laughed before I finished the thing. I'm totally going to jerk off when I get home. My God. I don't even know why, but it's happening. I want to write more about how I think or feel, but I do not want to project too much something. I don't know about any of that. Whatever. The, point, the real point of this was I used to sing that song. I am totally going to jerk off when I get home. My God. Yes, it, the, the order of those sentences after the singing children, girls, or whatever, was really, you know, not considered when I wrote it down. And um, there was a part I do remember. I can't remember what it, it was. something about not knowing intimacy. And, and I was like, and, you know, and I just want to get, and, like, you didn't know the word, right? You were sounding it out. <laughs> oh, you were I know. like, I can, you're like, huh? yeah, what was the first sentence real quick? <laughs> okay, um. It was really nice to just hold someone's hand and hug them um, and want them to hold my hand and hug me, hug me back and and nothing more. I literally don't think I've ever done that. I mean, I also like getting (laughs) this was yeah (laughs) pounded by something. Myself. she couldn't read my handwriting you couldn't read my handwriting and you're going puh, puh, and i'm like i know that says pounded and i'm just watching you try to set puh, puh, and i'm like she's gonna get it in a second 
<laughs> and yeah, so, you know, burn it, never journal. No. I'm going to keep that stance. It's embarrassing. I got, I'm glad you got something out of it, but I don't that know. Was either. Amazing. And by the way, you like to get pounded by some big tattoo, some big tattooed fucking asshole. Just yes. say um, that that's, yep. I want that, that to checks be out. included. That I want that, out. put that on the record, please, Your Honor. Um, yeah, she likes to be pounded there. by big tattooed fucking assholes. Beautiful, beautiful. And, you know, also now very excited to welcome our, our in uh, computer guest, right? That's how I was going to say in studio, but I was like, who am I kidding? Like, you know, <laughs> I haven't seen anybody in years. Um, but our in studio guest. In the studio. Right, you, yeah. Okay. You know what? Bragging much. All right. Just because you are running around free, you fucking little. No, uh, hold on. Before I get there. Right. He's a writer. He's a podcaster. Lance Turnbull. Hello, sir. Woo. Welcome. Welcome all the, the way, show. all the way in Australia. I'm voting for myself. All the way in, all Australia. The way in Australia. Yeah. Who hurt you this week, Lance? I hurt myself um, this week, this morning actually, because I had like a bunch of cash in my pocket, and I couldn't find it this morning. Bragging. And you couldn't what this morning? Wait a minute. I couldn't, you find, couldn't it. find it. You, you just say you had a bunch it. of cash in your pocket and you couldn't find it. Yeah. All right. And it's going to be a long episode. It's, I'm in that horrible <laughs> bit where I'm like, do I, do I just grieve it and get over it? Or do I continue the search? How much is the cash? Like how much cash? Like a few hundred bucks. Brutal, dude. Brutal. I oh, mean, shit. Yeah. but who's ever thought, do I keep looking or do I give up on a few hundred dollars? Like, no, because I had to get here. And uh, and do the podcast with you guys. Why? Well, oh, you! Oh, you're blaming us because we're recording Is that what's happening? Yes, and you basically stole. <laughs> right, we stole money oh. from you. <laughs> yeah. Mm, right. Interesting. I I haven't yet yeah. seen any of that money uh, in my <laughs> bank account, but you can let me know when it gets there. <laughs> yeah. It's not about you. It's um, about how I feel about it. Do we get a commission if you find the money? Um. Yeah, I guess so. Um. For yes, what? That is Send the correct invoice answer. for whatever your services are. <laughs> Well, I think that journal entry alone was like a few hundred dollars. I mean, that's like a private reading. You. You, I yes. mean, no one else. Yeah, has heard it was. That. Yeah. 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 I mean, you could still edit it out, um, but not from my memory. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, I can't. That. <laughs> can't forget poetry, art, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that journal entry. I mean, it was one of those things where like the stars align, you know, like just some, like you're like talking to someone, it's cloudy out. And then all of a sudden the clouds clear and you can see the beautiful sky because I just happened upon that page. And I was like, <laughs> this is amazing. And all of these characters that Catherine always brings up in conversation were in the thing. It was just, it was like a, it was like a TV show for me. But anyway, I know it doesn't bring back your money, but. <laughs> I was going to say, did you, did you like read the whole thing and pick that, that out? No. Just, no, I'm leaving. I sometimes I get really horny, but I don't know how to come. So I left yeah. some of the entries for me to continue to just read to myself when I'm almost there. And I and need, you know, <laughs> co coincidentally, that's why I wrote it in the first place. So you know, look at that. <laughs> it, it, I'm glad that it all just sort of worked out the way. It's one of the only things that's worked out the way I planned it, really, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in the last year. You're just like fun. <laughs> Journaling is useful. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, look, Lance, I know that you say that you've been hurt this week by yourself. By yourself. <laughs> but I don't know that, I don't know if you know that you've also been hurting other people. Um, so I would just want to. Uh -oh. Here we go. Let me, let me just summarize a bit about you. Okay. I'm I feel just like you got to pull out my journal. And I'm going to be like, how, they, how did you even, <laughs> what is, <laughs> do your journal and your money and yes. just all of it, which do you want back? <laughs> Actually, I asked all the women in your life to send me letters about you. No, I didn't say anything about it. Um, and just to say you and I are friends, you're the first repeat guest on this podcast, which is pretty amazing. Wow. You're what one of the people. Them? Yeah. You're actually one of the people who helped me conceive the podcast way back in Australia. Um, you were very supportive, so uh, it's it's an honor oh. to now tell you how you have ruined lives. Okay, so okay. Um, let's go. All right, so I'm just gonna compliment sandwich we're doing here. I feel, I feel like you got to say something nice after. I don't have to say shit. All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, as a Jewish person, I really don't like it when you tell me what to do. 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so Lance, uh, what's your middle name? Thelonious? What is it? It isn't, but that's fine. Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> what's your middle name? Thelonious. <laughs> it's like Peter. Um, my middle name is William. Is it, and it's Lancelot, isn't it? No. Is I knew Lance? you. I knew it wasn't. I knew it wasn't. I she thought it was said Lancelot. Your first name was Lancelot, and I was like, no. Way. <laughs> I really thought it was. All right. <laughs> no. Lancel- Lancelot. Thelonious. If, I, if my name was Lancelot, I would have people call me Lancelot. <laughs> <laughs> but Fair. they do right. call you Lance a lot, don't they? All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. End the podcast now. It's good. That's the best. It's never going to get. <laughs> okay all right so lance william turnbull a uh, former head writer for the renowned um, award-winning tv show <laughs> the leak on channel 31 which is how we met some may laugh at the leak i was on the leak so i can i can laugh at the leak without shitting on you at the I'm concept saying. of it not any of the content yeah yeah no not any of the writing <laughs> my god the writing yeah. is amazing um, I mean, the head writer, it was you, you know, everything was like, bang, bang, time, yeah. bang, this is landing. <laughs> but I think, the, you know, I mean, I just find it um, insulting that you're somebody who wants to write and then does. That's upsetting to yeah. me. Fuck um, you, man. <laughs> yeah, seriously. More about that soon. Um, <laughs> you're in an uh, ethically non-monogamous relationship um, to which I just say, go fuck yourself. Um, because <laughs> what, that, what that says to me and again, That's a made-up thing. Yeah, you'll get your chance to rebut all of this later. But it's like, oh, no, I really? agree with all this. You get to, you get to sleep <laughs> with someone and have them be there for you. And then if you ever get bored, you're like, babe, I'm just gonna go fuck other people and still also fuck you. And I'm just like, mm. oh, and but we love each other and everything's clear between us. There's no animosity or jealousy. Suck my dick. And oh. guess what? He can. And without getting in trouble with his girlfriend, he can yeah. go ahead and suck your dick. Look at that. We can do that yeah. right now. Yeah. Yeah. Come over to America and suck my fucking technology yeah. non-existent <laughs> dick. Okay. Um, you are working on a podcast with our friend, with Melissa McGlenzie. I mean, it's like, oh, you're just, you're working on a podcast. Um, I mean, we're, we have a podcast, so it's kind of insulting that you're making another yeah. one, but whatever. Just and I don't it. know her name. I don't know yeah. her last name, you know, yeah. and oh, yeah. why should I? I don't know her first name. I, I don't want to. <laughs> you live in Australia, which, um, where they've never had COVID or heard of it. Um, I did hear someone say that sometimes we have to wear masks in the supermarket. And I'm like, oh, that must be nice. Not thinking you're going to murder all of your elderly relatives. That's fun for you. Um, and, mm-hmm. and last thing you lived with your sister, right? Which to me, it's like, you know, siblings fight, but the fact that you could live with a sibling without being in some kind of legal battle at the end <laughs> of it is just like an insane amount of privilege, you know, like, I think it's <laughs> like a ridiculous. Absolutely. So basically what I'm saying is you have, you, you know, you don't know what you've done. You don't know how you've hurt all of us, right, Catherine? Yeah. What do you mean? So head writer, I, I understand that means you worked hard or something <laughs> for that. Is that what you did? No, you really. actually, no. Oh, oh, so you didn't even have to work hard and you just got that. Wow. Even better. You, you little shit. Um, so You didn't even turn up at all the meetings. I remember. And you would just sit there with your like skater shoes on the table he was someone who would sit on the table while like all right team what ideas do we have head writer well it wasn't paid well well yeah Yeah. (laughs) i forget it (laughs) jokes on him actually (laughs) oh yeah i feel better already (laughs) yeah i do i really i do actually i'm like oh you were working for free (laughs) what do you yeah that wasn't that wasn't a uh i don't know uh, a, a, a noble grandiose thing that was just student community television it meant i was the biggest goldfish in the smallest possible goldfish bowl <laughs> <laughs> but don't you think that it's like it, well i find it offensive but don't you think that it's something that you can actually write like for example Catherine and i both are like i'm like Catherine's trying to write something for a class or she's trying to write her stories i'm trying to write jokes oh, no, they're no. not even yeah. what let me be clear. I have abandoned the class and the class has ended. So no, exactly. I have done zero writing. So right. you, for free also. So I would actually, 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 no. I paid for that class, right. which means you worked for free, but I paid to not write 
anything. I mean, I, I paid for a writing class that I never took online as, as well. It was like $300 a few years. It was like probably 10 years ago. Like I would rather give people money that they can keep than sit mm-hmm. down and write something. And then you yeah. just show up and you're like, I don't even need money. I'm just going to write. I'm just going to write because I can do it. And you don't see how that hurts us. I mean, that is so... so it's selfish. actually really offensive. I've, I've done plenty of yeah. uh, throwing money at educational institutions to not have any out- outcome at all, apart from less money. Like what? Like what? It, uh, yeah, like, many I university to, courses. Like, tell us your trauma. I just want to... But before he does that, I just want to focus on this, like, ethically non-monogamous relationship. It sounds like something you can buy at Whole Foods. I don't think it exists. I don't think... <laughs> I think you made yeah. something up and you say that you do it. I mean, explain this. So you, you, you guys are, are in a union and then everybody mm-hmm. gets their, their dick wet whenever they feel like, yeah. is that what I'm um, Wow. I have a question. Did you like write this fantasy for the TV show you weren't paid to write for? Is that what, is it, <laughs> is it something you like? I don't understand. I don't understand. How can that be a thing? what you what your relationship is you look stressed out though and i'm yeah, like you do I'm, you look really stressed i am i am stressed out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are vultures you're just beating up my my anxiety and my <laughs> <laughs> it's working Catherine. it's working <laughs> 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 yes well, you, the blood so of the you have anxiety you have anxiety though so that's yeah that's, you know I, we're getting a into downside. it. No, I just, yeah. uh, so I was telling Catherine how you have been telling me that um, I don't understand ethically non-monogamous relationships and you defend them because I tell you how I think they're bullshit. So you don't have to tell us about your, I mean, I, I would like to know details about your sex life um, and report well, them. She wants to know details about everyone's sex life. So don't yeah. think you're special there, buddy. I would, yes, I would like that information, <laughs> but um, because you are the guest, I want you to, I don't want you to feel stressed out or anything. Um, you can just talk about. <laughs> you're, you're a terrible liar. You're a terrible... <laughs> talk about what you like, what ethical non-monogamous relationships are to you. Ethically non-monogamous relationships. Cause I, I still don't get it. Cause I, I was on Tinder. I was on Tinder, as you know, trying to figure out who to, who, who I could get to sleep with me. And everybody in the city is ethically non-monogamous in New York. So I'm just, I want you to. Yeah. So what? So it's not like it's this crazy. Fun, I didn't invent it. I, yeah, but you I heard about it. it on a podcast. I was like, I'll do that. Right. <laughs> yeah, but it's right. it's. Uh, I think mm, I don't even know where to start. What's uh, what's the what's what's the number one issue with with what, why is it non feasible? Why? Uh, okay, so my feeling is, and then I'll I'll say no. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like <laughs> beginning to. I suddenly realize because I'm a little bit stoned as well, and I just like realized. I'm like, oh, wow, Lance really does look like he's under a lot of duress right now. Like, there's a lot of, um, and I think we may have... Uh, oh, I'm okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm, <laughs> I'm just like, oh, God, how do I start with this topic? All right. Right. Well, if you want to cry, you can cry. That's what the people are tuning in for. Um, yeah, but- how, how are you feeling Drama. right now? We can check in with you. How does, yeah. how does your, what you've done to us, how does that make you feel? Because you do seem yeah. stressed out to hear That's how true. it has hurt us. No, I'm, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm, uh, I'm looking are forward you lying? to it. Let's do are it. you lying to me? Like every other man in my I life? Would never, I, I would never lie. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And I, I love that Catherine says, how do you feel about how much you've hurt us? And Liz is like, I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. fine. That's- <laughs> yeah. Okay, so explain to me Okay, so basically, this is my issue. So it's like, you're dating someone, right? This is how I see it. You're, so you're dating somebody. And... Check that. All right. <laughs> and you're not <laughs> monogamous. You're ethically not monogamous. You know, it's like, what? Yeah. I, so I see these people as like... The worst part is having to say it in that voice every time. It's exhausting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I practice... <laughs> 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 So <laughs> this is how I see these people as like <laughs> that voice. Can I just say it sounds like baby Falcor or something? Do you know what Falcor. I mean? Like if it, like from the never ending story, the oh, flying yeah. dog, it sounds nothing like that, but I imagine that's what it sounds like when it's being born. <laughs> I've been smoking weed. I've been smoking weed. Everyone. <laughs> but it's you not about I... the never ending story. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that I only do the voice when I've been smoking weed. It's that I only do the voice on the podcast when I've been smoking weed. Um, yeah. 
So yeah, so basically the way that I see these people is these, these people. These, I sound like I'm like a racist, like ah, I know about these people, you know, like just like but they're ethically non-monogamous. Ethically non-monogamous people. Yeah, yeah. I just, you know, do, like I guess everybody live the way you want, just I don't want to see it, you know? Um, <laughs> so, so these people, they get into these like pathetic excuses for a relationship, you know, like, oh yeah, it's just us and yeah. then anybody else we want. And then they have a conflict. And this is the thing that I think is important about a monogamous relationship is that you have a conflict and you need that person. You have you, the other one person. You're like, okay, I have a couple options here. We could break up. I don't want to do that. Um, we could um, work it out. <laughs> That's really hard. Or we could just, <laughs> pretend like nothing's wrong and our problems will just erode everything <laughs> and like and until we have nothing left and so it's like generally what you know a healthy couple would do is that they choose to go all right this is really hard we're gonna try to work it out right it's not gonna be easy we're gonna work it out and then they might you know have a conversation or go to therapy whatever and it's like and then you grow as people right but in an ethically non-monogamous relationship you're just like i'll just go fuck her I don't care. Yeah. Like, I, mean, I don't need to. Oh, I'll come back like, when you, yeah, when you've cooled yeah. off, you know, when you get your you like, period. Yeah. <laughs> you taste like barbecue. I don't like you anymore. <laughs> I would never so went on American people. summer. No, no, yeah, but no, I, I would like that. It's like, bleh. oh, but I mean, tasting like barbecue just for anyone. I listening. know. That's I know a real bonus. I said and, it. I said it to do that for you. Thank um, you. Sorry. <laughs> 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 so there's a there, so there's a an assumption there that the that the sleeping with other people is like the solution to something missing in their in their relationship. Mm-hmm. I definitely assume that. Wrong. <laughs> Here I we go. Like w- yeah. One ethically non-monogamous, like whenever I would come across that which it was rare because I, I didn't like internet date a lot but whenever and Eve's told me a lot about it recently I just look at it as people like oh no like we're not we're not gonna commit <laughs> like we're just we're shopping still yeah you know why not just say like I'm shopping I'm not in a relationship I'm fucking shopping right. Right. Yeah, yeah yeah that can be the case I don't um I feel I feel conflicted about defending non-monogamous people because um they're gross like why don't they fuck <laughs> <laughs> like what would it used to say i love that you'll say this on the podcast when like other people might be listening but when it's me like weeping about like dating in new york and i'm like nobody wants to date monogamously and you're like well you're just really judgmental and you just need to open up and what's your objection and then when you're on the record you're like these people fucking suck and i'm oh okay i see how it no, is i have um i have uh i like to think i have self-awareness like, um, like you, you, you did me a huge favor at the top there by not mentioning that I'm an improviser. Right. Um, yeah. but, <laughs> but I'll, yeah. I do, I'm jealous I do, of that. I do I that a lot. Yeah. There's so yeah. many hours yeah. of improv that I've done and it's wrong and it's not defensible. It's not okay. And, and well, I keep yeah. doing it and nobody should go to an improv show. Mm. Um, Especially because all I, those I people, keep doing it. but all those people are definitely ethically not monogamous. You can't do improv and not. <laughs> Absolutely. <talk> <laughs> You know, That's I mean, problem. not fuck each other. <laughs> yeah, and nobody showers. You oh, know yeah. what I mean? Like nobody. It's very incestuous. It's <laughs> and very it's kind of smelly. You get a lot of odors in there. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like any kind of like theater sports or like drama. Warm Did up you do there, theater whatever. sports? Get off this podcast. Yeah, that's... You, you get out of our house. <laughs> like, I feel violated. I feel violated. Don't you ever, ever come back here ever again. <laughs> Actually, it's, it, it's, not, uh, it's not unlike... Um, you know, like like witnessing a like a gross sex act like we were talking about before. It's like, it's, uh, you know, mm. you do it and you feel good, but like you wouldn't want anyone to see that. You wouldn't want to watch yourself do that. It's so this, and this is what you're comparing to ethical non-monogamy. Yeah, I'm saying yeah, improv. I'm saying improv and ethical non-monogamy are the same thing. <laughs> Wait, but how come you wow. presented it to me? You and and also you got kind of serious before, and you were saying, oh well, there's the implication that having sex with someone else means that there's something lacking in the primary relationship, right? It's like so. Yeah, but you don't think that. No. 
that seems like a yeah no i don't no i don't think that why, why does what that do you think what do you think why why are people having why are people having more sex than me with more people why am i not enough <laughs> no but like why 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 okay so like what is cheating cheating is like like what's the what's the bad thing that happens when you when you cheat on someone you hurt their feelings but you also create distance between you mm, when you cheat. disagree when you cheat you create distance i disagree you know, you don't think that you, you don't. Cr- <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait, okay. <laughs> what is this riddle? I'm. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, so when you when you cheat on someone, you don't. When you hurt someone, you don't create distance between you. Are you stoned too? I can't tell if you're stoned. Lance, the- I can tell you, you're you're yeah. creating distance between us right now. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm feeling very hurt by what you're saying. I don't okay. understand. I feel gaslit. He's like, no, no, no. When <laughs> when you cheat, you actually bring people closer because pain makes you pull tighter. No, no, no. It's just, it's it's. No, I'm saying, yeah. If you hurt someone, that creates distance between you. But okay. but uh, but but those are those are the same thing. Those are not two different like. You know, I'm not like, saying like, that having sex with someone else creates distance. I'm saying that cheating okay. on someone creates distance. Yes. Okay. Yes, assuming that they're hurt by that. Here, I've got a question. Who isn't hurt got by a... cheating? Okay, all right, Catherine. Apparently, well, Lan- Lance people is, who but that's okay. <laughs> people who don't have that as a condition of their relationship. <laughs> yeah, so w- what if, okay, so you got your main, you got your main hoe. I don't I, no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call your, whatever you got yeah. you got your main, you got your main. You got you got your Carmela Soprano. Okay. Right. You got your Carmela yes. Soprano. That is and amazing. Then, but, mm. Yeah, but what happens if you start kind of preferring, I don't know, it could be anything, like the titties, the feet, the pussy of the new hoe or the personality. Like what if suddenly main hoe ends up you know, in your mind, becoming like second hoe. Like, what happens? Do you have a conversation yes. with main yes. hoe? Exactly. You know what I mean? And be like, look, you're now like think, second hoe. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, second well, hoe. That, that, that is. That, I picture a bunch of chickens that, in a garden. You're second fucking <laughs> hoe now. <laughs> so, yeah. So, firstly, like, yeah, that, I think that happens. That's, like a, Lance, that's a risk. risk. <laughs> All right, sorry, Lance. We're just stoned. Okay, don't, so don't, don't I, count I feel... your chickens before they become hoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, again, I feel really conflicted about defending uh, non-monogamy because every most of the people who do non-monogamy are gross. Like they wear yeah. vests and, and, I'm and they have like a top hat. Oh, she's wearing and, a vest right now. Wearing a vest. What did you oh, say earlier like to? You were like, don't I look like whatever? And I was like, you look like a, you're going to cater my wedding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. You know, like the kind of man that's wearing a vest. Oh, he's just got like a, like, a, like a shirt, a shirt mm-hmm. on. He's got like a vest. A, 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 a he's got like a pony. little goatee. A low, yeah, yeah, a, a little pony. pony. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, no, but I, I feel uncomfortable about defending non-monogamy because the, right. the, these are the practitioners and they're wrong. But <laughs> you, don't, don't you identify as being ethically non-monogamous? I mean, you gave me yeah, such a hard it, time. It sounds cranky. <laughs> you gave me such a hard time when I ragged on this like a week ago. And I was like, it was like <laughs> probably like two weeks ago. I was in like a bad place. I ended up stopping dating. And then, you know, I said I was seeing someone, but that was like a random thing. Like, I just was like, I can't do this. I cannot fucking talk to all these men and not mention ethical non-monogamy only to be informed three days into texting before oh yeah by the way i don't commit i just like to fuck everyone i like to get my needs <laughs> met and meet no one else's needs is basically what ethical <laughs> monogamy is will you just meet all my needs and i'll meet none of yours and i'm like well i guess you know i am 36 and single so <laughs> sure <laughs> i am good at multitasking uh- <laughs> yeah totally i don't have a lot going on right now and i'm totally on unemployment so okay <laughs> take my money take my pussy whatever i'm not gonna call you i mean someone who, who like this guy who I told you both about, who I was like, I went on a date with him, attractive, like kind of successful, professionally smart, trilingual. And then he's like, yeah, so I would love to, you know, meet up again, basically sleep with you. Cause I had said, I haven't had sex in a year. And he was like, I can take care of that. And I was like, oh, like, I just like, I got pregnant right then. <laughs> Like it was just so, oh God, I can still, I still am like cashing in a little bit on that. But um, <laughs> he said, oh, but I'm non-monogamous. 
And like, what does that mean? You know, and then I'm like, what the fuck? And then basically I was like, well, maybe I'll try it. And, you know, Lance shamed me. He monogamy shamed me. Oh, yeah, you fucking uh-huh. square, you fucking norm core, oh, cis, <laughs> hetero, Jew. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, all right, Lance. <laughs> Say it. Say what you mean. Yeah, I don't know if I mentioned, like, being non monogamous does imply being a Nazi as well. That's like, yeah, they're, well, they're, I they're figured it sensible. out. Yeah. I figured it out that yeah. day. And then, and then yeah. the guy, I mean, it was like so clear that it was like, I couldn't even like text him outside of like his, what he wanted. And I'm like, this, these people suck. It's like, you can't just like be like kind of having a thing, some kind of thing with someone and be like feeling annoyed that you get a text from them when maybe you're busy. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, sorry, I got yeah. to sit here like an object. Yeah. How does that work out? How, have you ever had your dick in one person? Okay, is this too much? But I mean, you, you can say <laughs> if it's too much, but like, and gotten a text from like five other people that you're sleeping with and you're like, uh-oh, you know? Like, how do you- uh, No, everybody, not that. Interesting. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm like, Kevin, I think you're thinking Lance is maybe a little more successful than he is at this. But, um, mm. but you, uh, God, you just look so sad and then looked off into the distance. <laughs> he's like, he's like, mm, yeah, I got into this business because I thought there'd be opportunities. And here I am, <laughs> fucking, fucking the same gal every night, you know? <laughs> <laughs> all right okay so we've kind of we've ruined your life with this no, monogamy but um what about <laughs> sorry i'm like what about i'm like i was thinking about being like tell us more about living with your sister but i'm like no no you, your family relationships are ones that you have for your whole life you hope so yeah i i, I reject <laughs> your I, I reject your um attempt to stroke my ego by by saying that I successfully lived with my sister. I absolutely did not. It was a bad idea. <laughs> I'm like, did anyone warn you that it might be a bad idea? I can't remember anyone doing that, no. So Really? Because yeah. I mean, I feel like you had some friends no. who were pretty clued in about that stuff. I think so, no. Do you, do you think you were yeah, like you, this American kind of bossy bitch who might have said to you, you should absolutely not live with your sister? <laughs> and then you, Doesn't you know? Just- no one that's so weird jewish. I, I think she was jewish yeah. i heard she was jewish i wouldn't have a friend like that okay so all right so so disillusion us how was that uh it was bad uh <laughs> well no, no be what honest you, <laughs> what would you say was because she's dead now this. is that what happened <laughs> <laughs> to me, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, we we moved into um we moved into this little two bedroom apartment together because I was like, my thinking was like it's really cheap, it's relatively close to the city, um, and I'm out all the time. Like I I work and I go out, and so whatever, it's just like a place to sleep and watch TV or whatever. Then, like two months after we moved in there coronavirus dan andrews the premier of, of victoria said you have to stay inside forever and so yes, i was there so yeah yeah mm. um wait so are you I talking about in, when you live with your sister yeah two months after you moved in covid mm. that's not true are you that i i mm. remember i was i was there for three months year. No, you were together, you were living together almost a year <laughs> by the, because I was still in Australia when you guys lived together. You lived together for at least six or eight months. Yeah, there was like a there was like a little crossover a couple of months. It was I moved in there in no like no like late November twenty nineteen. And then um wow. yeah, it's after so like you, three, yeah, like, three months. Three. Sounds like you may actually no, late November. November to December, December to January, January, February to March is four months. All right, fine. Wow, I All right. was so you oh, win, so Eve. You win. Oh, I was. I, I felt so. On my hand and I, can I was like. Fine. I felt All like right. angry. I was like, "Why are you lying to our face? Our faces?" And then I'm like, "Oh, I think I'm wrong. Like, I think I might be wrong," which never happens. <laughs> you heard it here first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So you were there for four months. I could eat. I was there a month and a half. Okay. Go ahead. I want you to tell your truth. <laughs> um <laughs> only only yeah, if eve, so, if no, it's eve's just... narrative though <laughs> <laughs> can you tell your truth for, tell my truth for me for you yeah um, yeah. 
You just butt in if I get any of the details wrong, okay? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Don't worry, I will. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, so yeah, yeah, we're basically just confined in this, like, there's, like, a joint kitchen living area and then a bathroom and two bedrooms. Like, that's the entire place. Um, yeah, it's, like, three meters would, by four meters or something. I would call the kitchen separate from the living room. But anyway, okay, continue with your lies. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um there's like one of those half walls between it, but it's like I mean, there's I'm no just, door or anything. There's I'm definitely no audio separation. That's not the word. Acoustic yes. separation, whatever you would put that. Right. Um, there's no escape, is the point. No escape. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, that yeah, actually kind um, of makes, I mean, just that makes me a bit more jealous as well because I've been alone in New York during COVID, you know, like, and it's like, I'm sure she would have like, rather been with your sister. So, yeah, you know. exactly. yeah. well, because this is my feeling is like every time the other day I like almost slipped in the shower and I was like, well, I guess one day they'd find me, you mm-hmm. know, like I guess at some point maybe the water would overflow or my family would go. It's been a while, but my family doesn't even know where I'm living. So it's like you were living with your family. People would have looked for you. And they also needed the shower. They would have been like, I want to use the bathroom. Oh, yeah, exactly. What's this bloated corpse doing here? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I just yeah. think, uh, you know, it's like, God, you're trying to make us feel better. And I just, I don't know. I think you're not trying I mean, I, I didn't have a sister. So, yeah, know, I'm I'm really lost <laughs> in that way. So. I didn't have, yeah, exactly. Do you have a mother, Lance? Tell me about yeah. that. Uh, yeah. Did well, you, you have a I was going to cue you, but you, 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 mm-hmm. <laughs> you got there yourself. Um. Yeah. He, he doesn't have a father, um, Catherine. So mm. you guys are even yeah. on that. Yeah, it was no. Okay, you were yeah, you were totally right. It was like a really bad idea. Um, <laughs> you can't live with your sibling as an adult. No. Yeah, you just you bring all your fucking childhood bullshit into into the you just like you can't mm. relate as adults because you're not. You're seven year olds. Like right. <laughs> it's right. bad. I mean, it, I sort of on that note, like, so you said you turn into seven year olds. What's this? What's the dumbest thing you thought about during COVID? You know, the thing where you're like, when you think back on it. Maybe it like fills you with rage, but anybody else hears it, it's just like it's it's ridiculous. But it's like this deep seated, you know, core like thing that's so meaningful to you or her, or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Oh, there's probably there's probably a good example. And I can't think of one. There was a bit where, as we were coming down, uh, coming out of um, one of the lockdowns, uh, I had um, my friend um has rich parents so he had a like a holiday house on the beach that he was staying at sorry is that um, a is that a vacation home yeah <laughs> right okay write that down Catherine, yeah. for later yeah friend with vacation <laughs> um, home i got in, it in blood make sure you write it in blood mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah so as the lockdown was ending i was like all right let's go there and i invited my sister because she was like losing her mind like everybody and um but like particularly bad for her because she didn't even like talk to her on the phone or anything she was like really losing her mind, and then she, uh, like a couple of days before we went, we went to leave, we were talking about like what we were going to do with like renewing the lease or or what we we're going to do next year. Uh, and she was like, she's like, I'm not renewing the lease. I'm I'm getting the fuck out of here. I don't want to put up with your shit anymore. And that was like the first mm-hmm. I heard of it. She just like um she she'd been like bottling up all her fucking little little issues with me. Um, mm. and just that women, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She, wait, but was, was, she, uh, was she on her period, though? Was she on her period for the entire duration of you guys living together? Could be. That would explain a lot. Um, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> yeah. But she, anyway, she just said this, like, really mean thing to me that, that to me kind of seemed out of nowhere. And I was like, I was like, fuck you. You're not coming to the holiday house. And then we went without her and, um, and uh did you go without her yeah yeah wow i like it i like it yeah that's 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 like a good punishment for a sibling because they can't go and yeah you know who do they have just you you know what i mean like so it's not like punishing your partner where they'll just break up with you you know it's like you're like i can do this and you can't ever replace me so uh (laughs) yeah I, i think that Oh no, I forgot what I was going to say. All right, Catherine, you go. I'll come come back to me. It was your turn. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was going to say it, it was your turn to act not too high to be uh, recording a podcast. 
bottling it up. I've come back to it. <laughs> it's my turn. Now. Bottling it up. <laughs> so I, so I, I've been seeing this guy for like a week. So like we really like learned a lot about each other. But basically, um, mm. I, uh, I kind of confronted him about something yesterday, which Catherine <laughs> may have heard about for like a little while. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, maybe. He, he was here during the day and we had lunch and he, you know, I had like a salad from a Vietnamese place with like just meat. And then he had like a sandwich with a, and a Vietnamese coffee with extra sugar, like all, you know, just like a crazy meal. Can I just say something? That's what I eat from Vietnamese places. What Whatever. you just scream like a monster. You get the banh mi, you get the Vietnamese iced coffee. You call it fucking lunch. You're just like, and then he had meat on it. Ah, like, it's like, yo, a sandwich. Okay, I don't know. So go on. I, but I go feel, on. okay. But you, I feel like you want sauce. Eat. I've never seen you eat. I've seen you eat like- You wanted two slices of bread the yeah, extravagance. I, I know he's a monster okay but so then he so not long afterward he's like we're like on the couch and I was feeling like so gross I hadn't slept well and so you know when you're feeling like really gross you're just like not into the person who you're like you're like I don't want to fucking kiss you like I just felt disgusting mm-hmm. and so yep, yep. then he started talking about um so he's talking about music thing which I I think that he's like really interested when he talks about music so he's talking about this and I started to be like, oh, maybe I should give him a little kiss. And like right at that moment, he goes, okay, I got to take a shit. And I was like, all right. <laughs> I'm, as you can see, I'm fine with it, but she but didn't I, like it. <laughs> but I couldn't, even, I just saw Lance lose his mind, but I couldn't hear you laugh. Like, yeah, that, that, she oh, can't no. get it if, if, if you don't laugh. I know. I'm like, I need to hear it loud. I mean, it was like, and he goes, I take a shit. And I'm like, oh, all right. Like, I'm thinking like, whatever. He's probably like embarrassed. You know, I'm not going to make a big deal. Right. But I like, you know, I show him the bathroom door is a bit tricky. So I showed him the bathroom door. And then I was like, I'm just going to hide my toothbrush because I hate my toothbrush being close to people when they're taking it like a power shit, which I, he's like, I was like, this guy takes a big <laughs> a <dip>. power shit. <laughs> what about like a regular? Is that? I mean, some people, like if I would, I would hide my toothbrush if either of you shit in my bathroom. So um you like gauge how delicate their shitting is i just know that some people some people are just like oh eve's toothbrush is in here i'll take this kind of shit and other people (laughs) not 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 considerate of those things so i like i have my toothbrush and he's like still going on about his shit and he's like yeah i mean okay well do you have any matches because uh you know he's like i don't know if you know but my insides are rotting out of my body (laughs) I don't know if you know. <laughs> he said that. And I was like, I'm like, why would I know that? Stop. <laughs> Stop saying, like, he's like, I'm going to hot take it. And I was like, no, like, I don't want to know this. Like, and so. I agree. I agree. Right? Thank you. Catherine was like, well, I would say that. And I'm like, yeah. Well, okay. I, no, I, I used to bring up my shit me, to Catherine. strangers. <laughs> yeah. I used to bring up my shit to strangers for the first, like, 27 years of my life. So I, I just grew people out of People you're, like, being intimate with. People you are newly intimate with. Yeah, I mean, it took a while for <laughs> it took a while for the farting to occur in my relationship. I remember the first time it happened. He was in a corner. He he was near the a door near a corner, and it ha- it slipped out. You could tell it slipped out, and he was like, "Ooh," and he like, "Ooh," and you know. And now every time either of us fart, fart there's like a huge apology, like like every time with this guy. He was not embarrassed. There was no embarrassment. And I, and I was like, mm-hmm. okay, stop. And so then he stopped. And then I gave him like 15 minutes. I put the I wonder music if he and I are related. I think it's actually you. I didn't tell you this. Yeah. <laughs> it was you. Um, so like he comes outside because I was like on the little balcony. And um, he's like happy as can fucking be. I smell. He's like, well, I lit some matches. So uh, mm. it should be fine. And I'm like, okay. I was like, you can't talk to me about your shitting. And I felt like really bad. But I was also like you know this is I, and i said to him i was like you know you got to curate what you share at the beginning of a date at the beginning of like dating wake in <laughs> seriously but so and then he said and i thought this was like a really nice sign like i was like and then i felt bad you know so i was like oh yeah i'm sorry like am i making you feel bad and he goes um no it's really good that you've said this otherwise it just builds up and then <laughs> like my poop i knew i was like three two one <laughs> <I> was, <and laughs> someone <laughs> someone say it and um it just builds up and then it comes out in like a year and a half you know so it's like it's like you and your sister except it's healthy you know um mm. unlike his shits his shits are not healthy 
He's actually <laughs> dying. I meant, I forgot to mention that he's only got like a month to live. Um, it really, see, <laughs> what kind of, like a weekend you're like, oh yeah, oh, we're, we're excited by each other. Oh, let's have sex. And then he's like, guess what? Here's a bunch of stuff about my shit. Oh boy, I got a lighter match. It's too like what is he what is his plan? What's his I know. <laughs> I know. It's wild. I mean, I just can't imagine. I think I think some people I used to do this where you get embarrassed, so you just take it to the max. Like it, you're like, I'm just gonna <laughs> talk about everything because I don't wanna have any I don't wanna have any shame around this. Although maybe he's not embarrassed. I asked him, I was like, were you someone who you guys like you like people to come in? To the bathroom with you while you poop when you were younger and he was like yeah and i'm like and your parents yeah. and you're and like you guys didn't close the door to the bathroom when you he was like yeah no we just left the door open i'm like this family's fucked up i was like i was like mm. you were abused i like told him i, I didn't like, know that was a category of person i've met yeah. them before yeah i mean i've definitely pooped well. with the door open i'm not gonna pretend i haven't but like not not that quick you know in a relationship you i know? lock the door when i'm alone in my house <laughs> I, I poop with the door open constantly right now. I swear to God, this is this this is my hovel, and I will shit with every door open if I feel like it. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> That's wait, how you maintain control. It's like when Mark yes. is, when Mark is home, you shit with the door open. It it it, it yeah sometimes he didn't, yeah Why sometimes I, but it, there's there's been some times when he's come up to the door and he's like hello like say and I'm like no and like he'll open you know whatever it's funny. We think it's funny. We're, we're just like kind of those kind of people, you know? We're just the kind of people who shit with the door open. You know what I mean? We're yeah, just like, oh. I do. He doesn't. He, right. he doesn't. He he like apologize. He apologizes before even entering the bathroom, but he'll sing songs about what he's about to do in there. So it's like, you know, it's a nice balance. It's like. It's so hard. So the, 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 there's, a, there's a key bit of context here, which is you guys have been together for what? How long? Ages? Long term no. relationship. Surprise, this, surprise. No, 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 no. Eve, why don't you tell him? Oh, it's been like a year, yeah. just over a year, year and a half ish. And most of that, like a lot of that early time, they weren't even together. They were in like different countries. They just, mm-hmm. um, they're mentally yes. people who found each other. At, yes. At the Correct. right time. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. I have a question for Lance. Does, does you, anyone in your harem of women tell you about their poop? <laughs> 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 uh, I don't have a harem of women currently, um, and no. What are, have you had? Oh, actually, I already can think of one. But have you had things that like built up aside from with your sister, but like that were like that built over years that you never or whatever months, days, whatever that you um, exploded at someone or that like it got too far? No pun intended about yeah, butthole stuff. Poop joke. What's what, uh, what's the one you're thinking of? I'm thinking the time <laughs> that, you, <laughs> that you confronted me. And you cried because I was bullying mm. you, <laughs> and wow. like I am now. Interesting. No, I'm not bullying you now. I'm just like <laughs> I felt horrible. Like I felt so bad. Um, yeah, Lance. <laughs> did you know Eve is your other sister? Uh- <laughs> <laughs> um. So my my last like long term relationship, she like always knew that she wanted kids, and was like a little bit flip floppy about how much she wanted them or whatever, but it was like, it was yeah pretty consistent. Like she, that was the plan one day. And I didn't, I probably didn't like deal with it enough myself that I didn't want that. I was just like, probably not, no plans. Eh, I don't know. And that kind of, yeah, we were together for like years and uh, without it really, mm without having like the conversation like mm. like is that in the future or not yes or no true or false and I kind of had to yeah I was kind of shitty about it because I was because I didn't like I didn't actually like deal with it enough myself that I didn't really want to do that um I was like maybe I'm open to it but like I'll just keep kicking the can down the road forever <laughs> um, Mm. Uh, what did you think would happen eventually uh the, the issue is probably that i wasn't thinking about what would happen i was just like it's you, fine now <laughs> so you really you didn't even think about it you just like put it out of your mind i guess when i thought about it i would put it out of my mind like so, you, so that i wouldn't have to think about it. that's a skill i do not possess i swear to god <laughs> i just <laughs> and i and, and i i wish i did there's so much i want to put out of my mind currently um so it's impressive <laughs> So it's like, do you have There's like an alarm bell that goes off? Yeah. 
Like we were like, this stresses me out. And then you just like, don't think about it. Cause I've got I, so many things. I just let it stress me out. Or like, I'll, I'll think, I'll think my way into some sort of answer. And then I have to give it whether somebody wants to hear it or not. Right. Like if I was dating that woman that you were dating, uh, it, the conversation first, first date, first date, do you want kids? I don't, sorry, you know, enjoy your dinner. I would leave, I would leave the restaurant. Right. Yeah, that yeah. would have been that would have been uh, really useful. <laughs> right, so you're you're well, blaming yeah. her, basically. You're blaming her, is what you're saying. Yeah. No, I'm blaming <laughs> myself. <mostly. laughs> right, right. Well, this um, is the other thing though about your ability to like not worry about it or not look at it. And I forgot to mention this is one of the reasons that you're that I'm jealous of you that you are hurting me, etc. Is that you <laughs> having ADHD? have a legal mm. prescription of dexamphetamine. Like, How could you forget this? Yeah. Because you don't have a legal prescription of dexamphetamine. That's why you forgot to mention this Eve. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah. and also because yeah. I took a couple edibles. Um, mm. Okay. Which is what happens when I, I can't- The opposite of speed. <laughs> <laughs> like, I get so well, frustrated with You can with get the... those legally, so we're even. I got them, yeah, I did get them legally, but they're legal in Colorado. I took them in New York. Don't tell anybody. Oh my God, run a podcast. <laughs> Um, so yeah. What's that like to have the power of God in a bottle that you keep by your bed? (laughs) Well, I probably not that amazing because it's like corrective to, um, Oh, here comes the victim. Dysfunctional brain otherwise. (laughs) That's how you get all that writing for free. (laughs) Wait, I didn't hear what either of you said, but I'm sure you're both very funny. Just, well, no, that is how I did all that writing for free because I don't like have the, the skills to apply myself and get a job. <laughs> maybe, maybe I have ADHD. I found a tiny bit of, um, well, you know that I cleaned out, like I sent Catherine all of her clothes recently. Mm. I went to all her boxes, mm. right? Nice, mm-hmm. you know that? Yeah. And, um, and there was like one, she had so many fucking purses. There were like 50, mm-hmm. 80 purses. 80 80 come on 100 100 purses okay thank you (laughs) so i'm going through them and like finding lighters and change and napkins and whatever and then there's like one kind of like not so distinguished i mean you know it was like one of her purses like it wasn't like you know the fendi or the you know it wasn't like anything crazy but she goes just look in that i think there's cocaine in that one and i was like (laughs) like what (laughs) and sure enough tiny little bag of um cocaine a little bit left so i've saved it i haven't done it in like years and i feel like um now is the time to die Um, save it for a rainy day you remembered which one of the hundred thousand purses so you know you just get a tingly feeling you know you you, i i never i never forget the stuff okay i forget names i forget faces i never forget the stuff um but uh lance is there is there anyone that uh, Wait, no. you what? no 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 lance what are some of your oh sorry no Catherine, you were right <laughs> <laughs> she just wanted to be the one to do it <laughs> you do it you dumb bitch <laughs> lance let me say his name one more time lance lance lance, <laughs> lance. <laughs> Lance, is there anyone, is there any, anyone or anything you are unreasonably jealous of? You know, when you see it, it just drives envy right into your soul. And you know, perhaps it shouldn't, but it doesn't matter. It still does. And you got to, and you got to turn that little switch that you use when you don't want to think about how you don't want to have kids and you date someone for six years. You use that switch. You have to turn mm. it right off. Do, do, is there anyone like that in your life? Anyone or anything? Um, no specific person that I can think of, but like anybody um, w- with a career in comedy, I'm, mm. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, that would be cool. Relatable. I should apply myself. <laughs> what do you consider Relatable. a career? Uh, for someone's paying you to do it. <laughs> and, oh. um, and what is that? I get paid sometimes. <laughs> I was thinking, I get paid, but like, are you jealous? Of, well, you, you can tell I'm dying. Me. I'm dying right now. From jealousy. I love it. Nice. And, and, um, <laughs> Why don't you apply yourself? You fucking because uh, <laughs> like, I don't know a mixture of like ADHD and and like a you literally deep, have uh, a bottle of application. I... Yeah, you do. You have you have a <laughs> bottle of like of just work. That's what it is. Just yeah. for months. Yeah. 
yeah I, well so the yeah the deeper problem is that like i fundamentally it's like deep down don't believe in myself <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's gay that's the, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you think kidding. that's why is that why I don't write anything I don't believe in myself do you think that's the thing yes but yours is, is not like yeah. a deep down Catherine you're like oh I don't know I don't have anything to say I love this story before but then I'm writing it down no it's bad like yours <laughs> isn't like do you think inside I maybe don't believe in myself it's like you're screaming I don't believe in myself <laughs> you tell me that you don't. yeah so but I don't know maybe. I mean, that's, yeah. if you're screaming it people can be like but I believe in you I can help you. I'm just like, I'm just like, oh, everything's fine. I don't know. Everything's fine. Oh, whatever. Um, but then I like, don't do anything. <laughs> it's like, cause I, <laughs> I don't know. Cause I write things and then I'm like, this sucks. And then I throw it away. And then. But you do write things. I mean, you've been working on that podcast with Melissa. You've written scripts mm. and stuff. You just took a script writing course, right? You would have had to write scripts for that. No. We, I don't know which one. I did. I did like so many online classes over. All lockdown. right, but yeah, yeah. Right, right, I, I, right. Do you, I, yeah. you hear? I signed up for one and then abandoned it week three. I enrolled in university and then I didn't even go. But you graduated. <laughs> Me? No, I don't have any. I don't have any tertiary qualifications. Really? God, if yeah. I had known that, I, have I wouldn't like have been a lot of debt. Been, right? <laughs> I wouldn't have been friends with you. Um, no, of course. I, there's a, no, of course I would have. You little failure. <laughs> So, oh my god! Thank you for saying that. Did you write any scripts when these all these courses you took recently? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you finished them? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, just like um, sketches. I, I haven't written any like. But you did the assignment, um, and you finished the assignments. Yeah. <laughs> you sound like his mom. <laughs> You're like, and you did your homework. You finished all of it. <laughs> but wait, I guess what I'm thinking is just like, I'm like, maybe you actually do do work. You just have an idea of like how much work you should be doing that is like mm -hmm. not like, because Catherine and I are both like, I would say not during COVID, but like working comedians, right? Would you say that, Catherine? Yeah. Are you trying to trigger me? Please don't talk about my former <laughs> life. Please don't talk about my former <laughs> life. This is my life now. Yeah. So we used to make, we used to make people laugh, like not just like each other and one guest who sometimes who like is laughing because he feels like there's someone holding a gun to his head. Um, <laughs> so we used to go out and get paid sometimes to make people laugh. And I mean, I've seen, I've like listened to old clips and seen old, video i'm like oh i wasn't writing enough like i can tell because i was still mm -hmm. doing that fucking joke and it was never even that good but still i guess it was like our whole thing wasn't just being writers so it's like i don't know maybe you actually are doing a lot one thing i did learn over over 2020 was like just because there's like no distractions there's no like oh i have to go do my shitty job that i hate so that i can pay the rent and that's a mm -hmm. distraction like you just have to like sit with like, what do I want to do <laughs> and why am I not doing it? Um, so I did. All day, every day. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I did learn a little bit how to like, just do, just try to do like a little bit of something like every day on most days or, you know, like, like this week, most of the weekdays I've done like one or two hours of, of work, which is like shit for like, that's someone who's me. like working but it's a million times better than doing nothing which i have done for like long stretches right. um in the past so are yeah. you saying that you're better than us is that what you're trying to say yes that's what yeah, i just exactly. heard yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> well and and so what else what else gets to you so you're jealous of other people who can actually work hard i have that too me too Mm. are there other things well too? speaking of speaking of like the the leak that that where you where you and i met that old community TV show. Like there are people that I worked with like years ago who are now doing really well. And they're like selling out festival shows and they're, uh, or they've like got a job on some TV show writing. And I'm like, yeah, that I did that. And I did a podcast. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do another podcast. I promise. <laughs> and yeah. it's work. That's the difference. Well, I, I mean hate those people. Recently, we did have, you and I did have, I hope it's okay to bring it up. I had, we had a bit of an intervention, right? What are you talking about? When I was like, you have to work more. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> I did. Because I'm sitting here and I'm like, maybe you do a lot of work, which is true which is on one hand. But the, I think I was like, it wasn't like you have to work more. I was like, you have to focus your, what you're yeah. working on and not do this and that. And it was funny because Catherine and I 
had started working more on the podcast and then I got cocky where I'm like, well, I've found my work partner soulmate, right, Catherine? Mm. Um, sorry, uh, I'm Mary, Mary yes. Catherine is her real uh, Hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's, but it's like, so I felt like, well, I'm working, I'm doing it. And now I can spread the gospel. And you and I were talking and you told me like, oh yeah, I really want to do this. But at first I'm going to do these nine things. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, dude, I was, I felt very bad. I mean, do you want to say what I said? I can't remember exactly what you said. Um, <laughs> that, that's got to hurt her. That's yeah, got to hurt her, Lance. She didn't even hear me was off. It. Oh, I forgot my Dex and I remember the, no, no. She, she has an entire day. transcript of, <laughs> yeah. of the conversation. Hold on, let me pull, was, pull out the recording. Yeah, I was doing, I was doing the thing of like saying, saying yes to everything and being like, oh yeah, I'll do like a video editing job and I'll, I'll uh, do whatever, improv or whatever it is. And um, I guess it's easier to do those things that are kind of adjacent to the thing that you want to do because then you don't have to deal with like the, the, uh, how hard it is to like do the thing that you, that you want to do. Right. Um, yeah. And yeah, I don't know. I was like, yeah, I'm doing this and that. And then you were like, Hey, fucking do the thing that you want to do. And I was like, oh, no, but I have excuses. Oh, I'm doing things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You called me out on your bullshit, which, on my bullshit, which was, which was a good friend thing to do. Thank you. Oh, you're oh welcome. Wow. wow. Holy <laughs> shit. And I, I was just about to ask him, and does he have any compliments for you or me? And he just, he just called you a good friend. I want another one, though. I don't, that's, I don't get an, in, I want an incidental. Oh. And All right, friend. Lance. <laughs> Yeah, Lance, let's hear it now. All right. So, you know, you got two people here. We need to pick me up. And you gave her one, right. but she's going to need another one. And Helmet, I certainly need it. Jealousy, whatever. <sighs> Sexual fantasy would, would suffice, I think. She wants that, but you don't have well, to. You don't have to. Yeah. She's like a real good, genuine compliment. Now I'm on the spot and I'm like, oh, nah, he's not good. <laughs> <laughs> well, this, is going, this laugh is going on too long. <laughs> yeah, he's thinking. He's he's sweating. You can see the beads of sweat forming in his hairline. <laughs> mm. Well, I'm jealous of you guys doing this doing this podcast because you you seem to have like like you're you're doing it regularly. You you're doing the social media posts. You've uh you got your logo happening. Um <laughs> oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that, by the way. <laughs> I know, this is, that's something I'm aware of. Um, <laughs> oh yeah! Shout out to Lance for helping us edit the logo. You actually, you were amazing. Oh, and I never sent you money. Um, I meant to do that. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> I'll um, send it after. <laughs> um, uh, it's it's like really hard to do something consistently, um, and like book in the guest. I've never done it before podcast, but I'm you know you got to book the guest. You got to do your your podcast prep. You and doing it consistently when you're not being driven by when you're not being driven by the passion or the excitement around the idea and you're just doing the work is really hard. I love it. I, mean, I, I think I know what you meant, but when you're like doing it this one and you're not driven by the passion around the idea and I'm like, we're pretty, we are pretty excited about this, but I guess you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Back to offended. Well, Look at yeah. that. How quickly. Maybe I'm, speaking, just... maybe I'm speaking to my own experience though. Like I did a, uh, like a few years ago, I did um, a podcast and it was, and I did it like every week for uh, about six months. And it was kind of easy to put in all the hours to do it. And then it got to that point where, which probably happens to like most, definitely most podcasts, most like creative things that people do, where you ha you're no longer just like super excited by the idea and that's all you can think about and stuff and it just becomes work significantly so anyway you guys have been doing this for a long time like Eva least has been doing this for how long ages it's and now you're like just... this is like episode 17 i think in a year i feel like you're trying to curse us now i feel like you're just you're trying to wave a magic wand you're you're offended from earlier <laughs> Uh, do you have any individual compliments? Yeah, I was thinking the time? same thing. I'm like, yeah, thank no. you. Thank you for saying that. But also we need more and demand it. You can start with Catherine if it's easy. Um, thank you. Um, I'm Come jealous on. of both of you because you're both, nope. you're both very funny. Individually. You can say just 
Come on, this is his nightmare. I see him biting his cheek, which is what he does when Come he gets on. really- Come on, hello, you are in an ethically non-monogamous relationship. You deal with women all the time. They want to hear something nice. We're here, yeah. we're ready to fucking hear it. Open up, it's a fucking safe space, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't come prepared. Um, I mean, you can't just say one nice thing about either of us. This is insane. That's this, hilarious. This never happened. It's like literally never happened. I. <laughs> um, 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 Abe, I, I value that you are. Well, this is kind of the same thing I was saying before, but you're like you call people out on their bullshit when they're not being. I don't know the best they could be, and. A lot of people don't do that. I don't do that um, enough. Um, you kind of let people, I don't know, get away with just being shitty to themselves or you or the world or, or whatever. I don't. And you go, that's damn, they're, they're annoying. I mean, the proverbial you. And, oh, um, right, you. Okay. One. <laughs> and, I like uh, that you're correcting his compliment. I know. I was like, yeah, I don't you're do like, that. You're like, I'll, you know, I'll fix this. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and um and people like I feel like you don't you don't have a lot of people in your life except for family members because you can't get away from them um, <laughs> uh that you that you have these like they have a lot of resentment towards mm-hmm. because you get everything out in the open and you like you either deal with it or it's just like done yeah I'm trying to deal with it more than just cutting it off but yeah but I, I'm trying not to be too hard yeah. on people. I mean, Catherine was like, let the guy talk about his shits, you know? And I'm like, or like, don't, you know, don't get that upset. And I'm like, all right, you're right about this. I didn't. I was like, I, I was like, yeah, if you don't like it, tell him to not talk to you about his shits, but yeah. don't like end it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> right. Were you thinking about ending it? <laughs> I'm not commenting on this. Because um, <laughs> you might hear it one day. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah thank you thank you for that I feel, and you know what i have to say you know you're really giving this like a lot of i mean you're really being sincere maybe this is why you were so stressed out about these compliments is like you know they can be nice but it doesn't have to be like i can see the work of god in you you know it can just be like excuse me excuse me i didn't get one yet so no, hello. But I'm, just, I'm trying to give him like a thing like he doesn't have to tell you like Catherine, i value that time that you know you told me that i was an alcoholic or something like he could just say like you're very funny and you're charismatic or something like that. Don't use that now. That's it's. I've already said it. Well, Catherine, I don't know you very well. Uh, <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> I have. I've, I've listened to. Uh, I've listened to this podcast that I'm on right now, and you're very funny and charismatic. I don't know if anyone's mm, ever told you that, but um, I'll, yeah, <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take. I'll take it twice. That's fine. Every time, it's good. You know the funny thing is, he actually, I got the word charismatic about you from Lance when he did tell me that you were charismatic. Mm. We did talk about that. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, good, good job, me. Okay, well, you oh, could have just, just taken the <laughs> win, Lance. Yeah, no, you know, he just had to get—he had to give himself a compliment <laughs> at the end of this, Lance. Lance, if you had to—if you had to tell little Lance something nice about himself, why don't you go ahead and tell him right now? Oh, How about I that? Like oh, this. Brilliant at at complimenting people. Just you know, it comes from the heart and. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just got it. I was like, no, you're Even not. just give me a death stare. <laughs> no, I was just like, I don't think he gets it. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, he does. He's being sarcastic. <laughs> would would you say anything nice to yourself? Come on, Lance, open up. Talk about this it. This isn't part of the podcast, is it? Yeah. The guests have now. to compliment themselves. I well, it is good. now, motherfucker. Like, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're just like tormenting me. I think. Wait, is there nothing I, that you? Is there nothing you can say? I think I'm this, and and mean it. Yes, I. What am I good at? I'm. I think I'm good at being honest. Like, so, like sometimes ex? I. <laughs> Sorry. Like, no, well, yeah, that's the. Sometimes I I, I omit, <laughs> which is which is a problem. But... Right, I just, just, that, I'm gonna come. Okay. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> no, like but I, don't, don't, um, you... I think I'm not a very like bullshitty person. Like I don't, yeah. um, I don't, I don't just go like, oh yeah, oh, I'm this and, and I do that. And this is me. And it's like just total bullshit. There are so many people out there who are like that. Um, many of them ethically and I'm monogamous. Not, I win. Yeah. A lot of them. <laughs> yeah. 
No, that's a danger. Yeah. <laughs> and I agree with that. I, I agree with your um, judgment of you. I think that um, <laughs> you definitely do not overrepresent yourself. You probably underrepresent yourself, but it's it's still better in the world of comedy to not be up your own ass and then so disappointing. It's like better to mm-hmm. just be like yeah. kind of like shy and like mm-hmm. building your skills so that like eventually you'll be very skilled. Under build. promise, yes. over deliver. Exactly. You want to say one thing about yourself? No, we're not. Do- no, we don't do this. He just had to. I'm I just not doing got this. excited. I'm like, ooh, do I get to do that? All right. Well, just <laughs> oh, now um, you have to, Catherine. You have to do it so that Eve can. No, no, no. I stuff. don't have to do shit, Lance. I don't have to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna sit right here. I actually think you know, you, it's been a real pleasure having you on. I, do you see me? I'm cir- I'm circling the landing for the wrap up. She's doing great. Um, it has yeah, been a no. pleasure ha- having you on. Oh, we're gonna say, Catherine. No, that's it. I was going to say it's been a pleasure. If there's anything you would like to plug, now is your time. This is it. Do it, Lance. I, I have absolutely nothing to plug at the moment. Um, you don't have an Instagram. You don't have somewhere where people can find you should they want to see the face of the voice that has 25 ooh. girlfriends. Let's go. Thank you for prompting me. I, um, <laughs> I, I, do, I do want people to follow me on Twitter so that, that I will feel like I should tweet more and then mm-hmm. people will want to follow me. It's a real circular thing, but I feel like sure, it's that, there was that. some kind of intervention there. Like either I, I well, tweeted funny stuff or people followed me. I think your, it would break the cycle. What's your thing? That's all we needed. What's your Twitter? What's your Twitter? Oh, whatever. That's not important. Um, oh, <laughs> uh, hilarious. At Lance Turnbull. <laughs> what is it? I am Lance Turnbull. At Lance Turnbull. Oh, at Lance Turnbull. At Lance. Okay. Lance Turnbull. Great. That's perfect. Yeah. That's great. You know, you can follow the podcast at Everyone's Doing Better on Instagram. You can follow Catherine at Ew Girl You Nasty on Instagram. And you can follow me at Eve Elbow also on Instagram. And don't forget to rate the podcast with a comment. The comments are actually the ones that show up the most, I think. And then subscribe. Uh, tell your friends, tell your exes, tell your ethically non monogamous partners. Um, you know, tell my dad. Yeah, tell her dad. (laughs) Uh, Thanks for listening.